Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Kill Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, tonight, I'm going to be going through... Wow, that is, like, super hot. There we go. Tonight, I'm going to be going through the blue maze, and we're going to be picking up some blue wood and hopefully bringing it back and, and chopping it up and having fun. I'm going to show you... I, I've done this so many times. Like, if you just Google Code Primate maze, uh, blue maze cave crawler maze, the, the maze map, whatever, um, that will actually bring up a ton of videos on Code Primate and the maze. So, um, why am I doing it again? Well, first off, I, I kind of don't have an idea for what to do tonight, and second of all, because the maze is really fun, and it's one of my favorite places to be, and I haven't been there in a while, so. I figure after creating an amazing Mancala game, Mancala, Mancala, M-A-N-C-A-L-A, Mancala, after creating an amazing model that actually works and it's playable inside games, I thought, nah, we'll go relax for a little bit. We'll go have some fun. So that's what I'm doing. I got my Twitter axe on me. Twitter axe is the best for chopping the um, the blue wood. It actually has a higher damage rate than most axes. So it makes it easier. And then uh, having the pass so you don't have to pay 800 um, monies actually helps. So you don't have to waste money on it <clears throat> and being able to get into a private server you know this way I know there's not going to be any kind of exploits and I know that there's not going to be any kind of uh, script kitties knocking the wood off or doing whatever so the only worry I have is Hoover I only have to worry about him knocking off my stuff <laughs> code you know I've never done that to you before okay. every time Hoover every time I mean do you remember Dig Dug he was so mad he was so mad at you. <laughs> oh wait, are we here? Okay, cool. There's no like notification bell. Like, hey, you know what? We just boom. Oh, first off, we actually we're gonna need our lights on. So, be sure to hit L to turn your lights on. And I'm gonna kind of zip through it fast just because I've done this so many times. But I'm gonna take you door for door where everything's at. Okay. When you first get down in here into the cave, it turns on this thing, this uh, effect called darkness or like pure dark or something like that I don't remember which one it's called but it, it's actually a like a local script on your machine that tells your client hey it's getting dark in here because it's not dark to anybody else just you. but this is this is how we go and find door number one Ooh. yep boom there we go door number one is closed so we have to go find door number two. Come around the J-hook. Go straight down the hallway. Take a left. Take an immediate right. Look out. Watch out. Oh, strong right. Strong right. Strong right. We're in the, the, the wishbone. Go to the bottom of the wishbone if you're following along on the map. On the left-hand side should be door number three. Door number two should just be right here. So... Don't worry about going down that little, little path over there. That's a, that's a dead end. So. Then we're going to zoom all the way over here, and we're going to go uh, through the middle of the H. I call it the little H path. Like that. Uh, if you take a left right here, that takes you down to the paint shop. We're going to go straight, and this is going to be a long hallway where we're going to find doors number four or five. So door number four should be right there. Door number five. Just around the corner here. Door number five. Uh-oh. I hope not all the doors are closed. Alright, so this we should be able to... Oh, don't go down that way. That way will get you stuck, sir. Oh, gosh. Looks like I'm already stuck. Don't go down that hallway. Don't go down that hallway. Oh. All the way down this hallway, it should turn to the right. Door number... Six should be right here. Uh-oh. Are all seven going to be closed? Door number seven. Lucky number seven. Is closed. No. All the doors are closed. That's no good. That is no good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How are we going to get past the code? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I don't have any tricks for this one. Let's see. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. 
Can I do a rotate? Yeah, they're not movable. So I can't rotate them at all. No. <clears throat> well, I guess we're not going to be doing the uh, the, the wood tonight. That's no good. All right, come on. I gotta get back. Shall we go see uh, the paint shop? See what's see what's going on at the paint shop. Take a right here. All right, so we take a left, 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 and then we go. Right. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is the first split. So we're gonna go left, then right, then left. There we go. There's the paint shop. Any new paintings? Anything new? Get your paintings here. You know what? I feel like we should buy one of every painting and take it back. Yes. Yes, that is what we should do. So, here is one pineapple painting. 24... How many is that? 2 million. That is an expensive pineapple painting. And then we shall buy this one. Oop. Uh oh. Timothy, it fell over. By the gloomy sea, yes. Thank you, gentle person. You are welcome. This one is not the same as the one that we just bought. Where's this one? Is this the geese? The gooses? Disturbed painting. Yes. Thank you, kind, gentle person. I love that he's a paint shop, but I, I don't know. Is he a painter himself? Do you have any original works there, Tom? Or Tim? Timmy? Tim Tim? By the outdoor waters? Yes. It's a sketch. It's not a painting. Ooh. And then we need the boat. Hey, look. There's a boat in lumber. <laughs> uh, be like, hey, I found the boat shop. <laughs> that would totally be clickbait. Just put that in the title. Found the boat. By Mummy's painting, the lonely giraffe. Yes. I know a secret about this painting. Uh, if you guys know who Mummazing is from Amazing Gaming, she actually painted that. She, uh, that's her photo. That's her photograph. By the Arctic Light. Yes. Thank you, gentle person. Okay, so, I think that's all the paintings, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. <laughs> I'm like, where did the last one go? Oh, code. Just, just go. Just go. Uh, you can see them on here, so. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of got stuck there for a little bit. Do, 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 do. So now it goes back into the darkness. Right back up the path. 
I just realized the Arctic painting, I think, might be made out of uh, ice. That's why it's sliding around so much. Hold up. Is it made out of ice? We'll check. We'll check. If it's made out of ice, I just thought of something. It'd be a little expensive, but it could totally work as a... Oh no, Hoover's not here. It could totally work as a... Um... Hold on, let's check the properties of this. Are you sliding at all? You're not. Okay. Was it this one that was sliding, maybe? No, you are not sliding at all. Hmm. Maybe it was just the, the motion of the truck, maybe. Maybe. Could be the reason. Well, I would go over to Link's Logic, but it's closed. So, I guess we're just going to wait on the dock. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide flow away. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Okay, I'll pause it. I have been waiting for over... Oh, there it is. Hold on, was it shift? F5, control. There we go, control F6. That shows your network track for your, your micro profiler. Oh my gosh, I just got completely bored. I've been sitting here for... I didn't think there was any lag, but oh my gosh, that that li literally took forever. Okay, okay he's docked. <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna sit for a little bit longer, and then, aren't I? Let's, let's chat with Hoover. Hey, Hoover, what's going on, buddy? When do you run next? Seven minutes and 23 seconds. All right. Okay, Google. Start a timer for seven minutes and 20 seconds. I'll be back. Okay, we are finally back. And uh, that took forever. I'm not going to lie. That was a really long time. Thanks, Hoover. <laughs> anytime, Gold, anytime. <laughs> You're crazy. Well, let's take these on back in. There we go. Get us some pictures. Hang them up on the wall. Let's see. Let's do them all right here. What is that? Is that a, is that a picture? It's a picture, isn't it? Um, let's go rotate back there. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Rotate, rotate. There we go. There we go. And we'll just hang each one of these up. Like so. Show our, our art up. Our artistic flair. Rotate. That is not right <laughs> at all. Let's see. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. And then this one. Right there. Upside down. Move. Turn, turn, turn. No. Turn. 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 Like. like. Yeah, that works. This one, we can go right here. Ah, that was perfect. Pineapple, we can sneak in right here. Uh-oh, sideways. Move, to turn right there. Good, good. And last one, the, uh, the sketch, we shall put right Upside down. So I'll just do uh, move, turn, turn. There we go. 
there we go. We got some cool little sketches and some beautiful artwork all up on our wall. And it's perfect. So I'll have to do the uh, blue wood some other time. So maybe next time, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, for now, it's been 15 minutes. I don't really have anything planned, uh, except maybe like cleaning up some bases or something like that. But happy Wednesday, happy uh, hump day, and uh, go into my game, my uh, sitting room. And if you go to the Adventurer's Guild, which is the white building with the blue top, and it's got two floors, and that's where you go to like sell off the grass and stuff like that. If you go into that, um, I have the Mancala tables actually set up, and you can win two gold for just playing all the way through, or five gold for uh, actually winning. So take a buddy, take a friend, go play, have fun. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Taskins Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does, but it's really your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.